Good evening, folks, and welcome to the fifth episode of the Heavy Newfoundland Podcast. I am your host, Akhenaten, and on tonight's show, I decided to go back to the very first videos that were uploaded on the Heavy Newfoundland channel and pick from some of the older stuff, you know, some of the classics, some of the stuff that was very uh, uploaded first when uh, when I first started the channel back in 2015. Now, the, the first band... It's kind of a funny story as to how I uncovered them, actually. See, when I first moved into St. John's, uh, I lived down on Alexander Street. And I was only there for about a month before I moved up to Kem Mount Terrace and moved in with my friend Chris and his friend Corey. Um, and when I was there, that's when I got my first job in this city, working at the Dollar Ram out in Kelsey Drive. And uh, when I was first there... Uh, the guy who hired me, his name was Chris Major, and um, as the job went on, I found out that he was, you know, uh, a really cool guy. He's actually one of the best people who I've ever worked for, uh, one of the best bosses I've ever had. Very down-to-earth, really respected his employees. Um, he treated each and every one of us like, you know, we were his friends, really. Um, I've never had such a positive experience with the staff at a job um but eventually i found out or well he found out that i was into metal and so was he and as it turns out he had a band a metal band at one point called gore puppy and he had a pile of cds from the first album they ever recorded still lying around in his house so he gave me a copy and i listened to it and i was actually really surpri uh, surprised as to how good it was. I mean, the the recording quality wasn't the best, but, you know, uh, the, the music itself was actually pretty solid. So, um, you know, I, I guess I wasn't expecting to get hired by another person who was into metal because he really doesn't look the part. But, I mean, I guess that just goes to show the variety of people who exist within this subculture. Um, that being said, I'm going to play a song from this album. Um, the intro to this song is called Pain, and the song itself is called Painkiller. And the story behind the intro is that uh, one of the members of the band broke, I think he broke his leg, that's what he broke, and um, him and one of the other members of the band were in the back of an ambulance traveling to the hospital, and they called one of the other guys in the band and left the message on their phone and then they used that recorded message as the intro to this song so without further ado this is pain and painkiller by gore puppy no new messages all message play back uh hey guys it's ross i'm uh in an ambulance with richie he uh broke his leg so we're on our way to hotel and uh <laughs> Something you away 
Also, for any of you wondering, um, Chris was the drummer in that band. Uh, in case you were wondering what instrument he handled. Uh, I don't know if he was in any other bands besides Gore Puppy, but I think he's a pretty good drummer. Uh, the next song that we have is by a band called Articuno, and they're one of the few acts on Heavy Newfoundland who are from Labrador instead of Newfoundland. Uh, I saw Articuno... Back in 2011, I want to say, when they opened for Protest the Hero, uh, Protest was playing at the CLB Armory, and this was long before I lived in St. John's. Um, me and a bunch of my friends came in, and we went to that show, and I think it was Articuno, Over the Top, and A Life in Liberty who opened for him, and that was the that was the first like big metal show that I had ever been to. I know that's like not really big when you compare it to like a giant friggin' festival like Vakan Open Air or 70,000 Tons of Metal, but like for a guy like me who's just coming from a small town Newfoundland, seeing Protest the Hero play at the CLB Armory was a, I'd, I'd say it was a revolutionary experience to be honest. I've never moshed so hard in my life. <laughs> um, but this is a song from Articuno's only album. Uh, well, I guess you'd call it more of a demo, really. This is Silhouette.
This next band needs no introduction in the Newfoundland metal scene. I'm sure all of you guys have definitely heard of them before. This is the Combine. Um, I'm pretty sure that these guys are at least working on or perhaps finished working on uh, their second full-length album. Uh, I did see a post by them that said that they were working on a music video from a track on that album, so I'm really stoked to see that when it comes out. But uh, this is uh, the first track, I believe, from their um, the first their debut EP, Witness, and this song is a message from our benefactors. <laughs>
Okay, next up we have another band that also needs no introduction in this scene. A band who, as far as I'm concerned, is probably the most well-known act um, in the metal scene to come out of Newfoundland. This is Devastator, and the song is One More Altar. that some of you know by now that Dark Era is one of my favorite local bands. Um, well, they're, they're probably not like my top favorite band, but they're at least in the top 10. You know, they're definitely one of the best bands in this city. Um, but back before Dark Era was Dark Era, some of the members used to play in another blackened crust punk band called Shit Legion. So this is a song by Shit Legion called Violent Past. 
and it's from the only EP that they ever released.
All right, well, now it's time for the news segment of the show. Um, we're going to keep it short today because there really, honestly, isn't a whole lot going on right now. Um, I do want to say that, uh, considering that I did just play a song by Devastator, and I also played a song by Shit Legion, who is like half of Dark Era, um, I filmed Devastator's most recent show at Distortion, and that is up on the channel right now. They fucking killed it, as always. Um, what else would you expect from a band who's been around as long as they have? Um, and I, I went down to see Dark Era last night as of the recording of this, uh, this podcast at the, the Rose and Thistle. And of course they fucking nailed it. They're, you know, they're, they're great. I can't really say there, there is no, um, positive adjective in the English language that could describe how fucking kick-ass Dark Era is. It's funny actually, because, um, earlier in the day I ran into an old friend of mine who, um, he, he doesn't live in St. John's, he's from Tooling Gate, but lives in Placentia currently, and um, he, he told me he comes into St. John's every weekend, but he had never seen this band play, so uh, he told me that he was headed down to the show, and I was like, man, you're gonna have your fucking mind blown by this band, and uh, throughout their entire set, he just kept looking at me like, you know, like, holy shit, this band is incredible, so, um, yeah, like, uh, just not, just not much I can say. I mean, I guess I'm starting to sound like, um, like a fanboy, really. But uh, I mean, you know, they kick ass. There's, there's not much else to say besides that. Uh, anyways, in regards to new albums, um, for the past four episodes of the podcast that I've been doing, uh, there has been several albums that, uh, you know, I've been talking about that are currently in the works by the local bands uh, that you know, still haven't come out yet, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dispense with those, I'm not gonna get into much detail about them, um, I will say that Sinews is coming out with a new release quite soon, and they did just release a new song, it's not up on the Heavy Newfoundland channel yet, but it was released on the Sinews SoundCloud page, uh, and there's a link to that on the Heavy NFLD Facebook page, so if you want to listen to the new Sinews song, go over to Heavy Newfoundland and check that out on our Facebook page. In regards to shows, um, not a whole lot going on anytime soon from what I can gather. There's two shows happening this week. On Thursday, we have May the 4th Be With You on May 4th, of course, at the Rock House. Um, we have Monolithic Sorcerer, Fuck the System, and The Shining Wizards playing. It's, uh, it's nice to have a show on a Thursday night, you know, so... Uh, you don't have to wait a full week until Friday and Saturday to get your, your your metal fix, you know. It's good to go down on, you know, a regular weekday instead of on the weekend. Uh, and then on May 5th at the Rose and Thistle, we have Goreforge, Sinews, and Smoke Signals. And that's sure to be a fucking kick-ass show. Can't wait to go to that one. I'm hoping that if I go down, I'll be able to film Sinews. And uh, also, if I go to... The one at the Rock House on Thursday. My intention is to film Monolithic Sorcerer, so that'll be two more live videos up on the channel following that. Um, also, when I was at that show last night, uh, the Dark Era show, I did film Cider Squadron 666, so that video will be up. And the night before that, I was at the Rock House and I filmed Dog's Blood, the Alexis on Fire cover band, so that video will also be up shortly. Um, that's it for our new segment for this episode. Um, the next song that's coming up is by a band who I, I think like half the members of Devastator are in this band. This is uh, Andrometrium with Hungry Ghouls Baked Body Parts. <laughs>
Okay, the next song that's coming up is by a band who released one EP and then completely dropped off the face of the earth. I don't know what the hell happened to these guys. Uh, Their name is Majura. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But they released one EP back in 2015. It only had two songs on it. But it was really, really promising stuff. It was like this highly complex, almost technical death metal. And it was really well produced, really high quality, hi-fi stuff. Um, and on their Bandcamp page, it said that they were going to release a full-length debut album the following year. So the EP came out in 2015. The following year would have been 2016. And we're currently in 2017, and we haven't heard a peep from this band since that the release of their EP. So I don't know what the hell happened to them, but uh, they did leave a legacy of two really, really goddamn fucking good songs. So this is Aperture by Mujura.
that was some fucking awesome shit, am I right? Uh, the next band that we have is uh, Horrific Death, and they were showed to be by Andrew Marsh, um, the guy who plays guitar and sings for Winter Hearth. They're a crossover punk slash thrash band who are originally from Bonavista. I don't think they're on the go anymore, but they, they used to play when Andrew lived back in Bonavista. And uh, they have their entire album up on YouTube to listen to. But, of course, I took those videos and uploaded them on Heavy Newfoundland as well. So uh, if you want to listen to some very obscure Newfoundland hardcore punk, then uh, Horrific Death is definitely the way to go. So this is Night of the Undead by Horrific Death. <laughs> Next up on our playlist, uh, we have another band who also needs no introduction. I'm sure most of you guys are aware of who these guys are. Uh, this is Cyprian. And um, I was talking to a few people down at the show the other night. Um, I'm sure that pretty much everyone who's in this scene who has talked to me knows that I work at Value Village. Um, I was telling them that one of the weirdest things that I ever came across while working there uh, was a Cyprian t-shirt, and that was only, like, mm, maybe last year, like, probably around the fall, um, I mean, like, Cyprian hasn't been around in a long time, so it was, it was definitely a shock, like, I had to do a double take to make sure that that was actually what it was, uh, definitely one of the, the coolest things I've ever found while, uh, while at work, but anyway, this is, um, Crimson by Cyprian.
Okay, I got one last song for you guys tonight, and it's by a band who, you know, took a while to get their debut album out, but when they finally released it, holy shit, really, really fucking solid release. Uh, this is by Emblem, and the song is The Mountain Trail. It's actually my favorite song off of their new album. So uh, this is the last song of the night, guys, and... I will see you on the next podcast or, you know, down at a show sometime. Don't feel, uh, don't feel afraid to say hi, you know, always down to talk to some of my fellow metalheads here in the St. John's metal scene. Peace out.